Hey folks, um, we are going to do a chip review. Um, we got all these from Lit Junior. Um, it's a store over here, except this one I found at a Walmart. This is a Ruffles uh, chip. We got all these kind of uh, brands, Dirty, uh, Herbs, uh, Voodoo. Um, and we're going to do that as soon as she um, comes out here. Uh, we're going to do the review in the car. Uh, so hold on a bit and we will get started. And we're going to wash it down with some Tahitian treat. I didn't drink any of this yet. We put them in the cups already. So we got two cups here. So we'll wash it down with this and give it a review of this because I've never had uh, this brand here. So be back in a second. GoPro turn off. GoPro stop recording. <laughs> Okay, I gave the intro already. Um, she just got in the car. Um, I forgot to tell you, it's Zaps uh, brand as well. So we got we got Dirty, Zaps, um, Herb, this is a Hers, uh, and Voodoo, as well as a as a Ruffle Lime and Jalapeno. The flavor is voodoo. Oh, the, okay. Well, I didn't miss one then. Okay. Well, this is a New Orleans kettle, uh, kettle style. So there's a lot of New Orleans influences in Memphis, like food wise. I guess because it's. Well, I know that one place don't mess with Master P. That's a Tupelo. That, oh. Tup Tupelo. No, that, was, that wasn't Tupelo you called. That was Batesville. Batesville, yeah, the guy, the noodle one, I try to get the, the noodles, the Master P noodles and uh, wrap snack noodles. The guy was not all there. He was short some change on a dollar bill. I'm telling you that a lot. That was another story in itself. But uh, that video should be out by now, hopefully, the noodle one. Okay, so um, you tried all these yet? Or no. You haven't tried all these? Okay. And I've only tried... The, the jalapeno poppers, like when I was telling you that something else that we tested, and I was like, it tastes like those jalapeno chips. I can't remember what it was. That was at the um, the Sonic, the Cheddar Bites. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, we're gonna try these first, then to get this out the way, and you try the punch. Yeah, Tahitian treat. Ta we grew up. That's like something. So that's the best. Different. You like that better Hawaiian already? Like Hawaiian punch. I, I grew up on like Hawaiian punch and something else. Hawaiian punch does something. Yeah. I told you about that. Yeah. Like Hawaiian punch makes me sick. Okay. So. Well, let's, let's try these out. Give you a close up of the bag here. And I wish I got my display so I could really know what the heck you guys are looking at with me shoving this in your face. And my hand on the mic right there, my bad. So, there you go. Flavored cheese curls. 150 calories. Is this for the whole bag? Okay, yeah, one bag of this. Oh, this is three servings. I'm like, no, it ain't. Okay. Cheers. You want to bump cheeses? No. <laughs> well, little cheese puffs. They're just like cheese puffs. You can saw them too, can you? Like a little kid, saw them. I didn't do that. You didn't do that? That was wasting my chips. Sawing I was doing a plate. I was doing a plate over the food. So you probably was licking the plate too. Yep. Then. It's like a zesty cheese puff. Like, I want to say Lowry's, Lowry's seasoning kind of I taste. It it's like a jalapeno. zesty. You know, they don't have one. A zesty Lowry's season salt. Somebody already stole my deal. We watched Envy last night. Yep. Poop uh, vaporized. And you spray it on dog poop and the poop disappears. Vaporized. 
vaporize. It's just like vaporize, only with adding O's and got crew right down the middle. See, like, where does it go? Uh oh. See a wasp over there. Might have to roll the windows up in a minute. Okay. That's not coming over here. So, should we wash it down with this or wait a while? Oh, it don't matter. I like Tahitian treat. I'm going to try it right now. I didn't know Tahitian treat was not one of the ones that wasn't sold everywhere. Yeah, because I've never had it. It's like a, two, it's more of a soda Hawaiian punch to me. It's like a little more. Okay. It's, it's pretty good. I still I like Hawaiian Punch, but Hawaiian Punch is different. It might be in another class, though, like like different I can't juice the, type. I can't drink the red Hawaiian Punch, but I like the, I think it's the green one and the blue one, maybe. You want to go with all hers first and then dirties? It don't matter if you want to mix it up, we can mix it up. No, let's do the hers um, habanero ranch. I don't know. That sounds really good. I might want to wait. Creamy habanero ranch. Creamy habanero ranch. You want to do this now or wait till last? Okay, you picked it up. Picked it up. Let's do it. I don't want to smell it. I want to smell it too then. <laughs> it don't smell like. I'll smell habanero. It just smell like. So a little ranch, nice just a little. Chips. Just a little. It's not no, like. It smell like. Mm -hmm. It smell like plain chips to me. I smell a little. It's not a lot of seasoning on them. Well, as far as looking at it. You, you kind of taste it once you eat it, but it's like you're saying. It's you not a lot. The, you catch the tangy end. Yeah, at the end. It's not even shame on you, hers. I'll taste any habanero. You should leave habanero off this name. It's right? kind of like a hint of spice. But if you say habanero... You don't want them to be hot. It's just habanero flavor. Well, I, if I like habaneros, I'm like, ooh, it has habanero in it. I want habaneros. I'm going to say spicy, creamy ranch. You need to call it spicy, creamy ranch. These taste like plain Lay's chips with a hint of... With the... With the... With the... The end kick. The end ranch. ranch, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't a lot of seasoning on it. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not feeling that one. I do, I do still feel the good taste though the little yeah, habanero right, right now yeah. well can we wait for buffalo cheese Bluff, buffalo blue cheese buffalo get it, get that one out the way, let's get the I buffaloes not, out i do not like blue cheese these are more um little saw blades okay she doesn't like blue cheese she's going to cleanse her palate Gummy. Sticks in your teeth, right? Sticks in your teeth? That's all the puffs like chips. These are more gummy than my other ones. How it taste? I actually don't taste Yeah, you don't taste cheese. it. I was like, I, it's not bad. But I think I'm still getting a little habanero taste from the other chip, maybe. They just taste like cheese puffs to me. Like yeah. spicy cheese puffs. Just barely spicy cheese puffs. And I don't know why I'm poking my head up like this, like I can taste it better. I don't know what you do. Okay. Put all these down here. It doesn't have blue cheese flavor though, because I don't even taste that at all, because I do not like blue cheese at all. So I don't even taste that. I forgot to show you guys the bag. My bad. Good job, Anna. Yep. Uh, baby back ribs. And let me get the beloved Mike in here. Okay. Who does that baby back? I want my baby back, baby back ribs. Chili. Ooh, I sang it just right, didn't I? No. She's a hater. Whoa, I'm seeing a difference here. I'm seeing like one batch and another batch. Do you know what I'm talking about now? There's like two different colors there. Like they forgot to put spice on some of them. So a new guy. <laughs> the new guy put too much. I'm gonna get one with a lot of. Yeah, let's still let's steal the good one from me. You want to get one of each? Okay. And you got the That's biggest. A, she got the biggest one of totally each. Totally different. Yeah. Totally, it's in the same bag. I'm trying to find a big chip. She got both big chips. Okay, I do. Well, you want these? I'm gonna get two of the regular. Okay. 
So I got, yes, and, and, and here's another one. Try the light one or the dark one first. They got dark and light. Let's do the light. I already touched the kind of barbecue as soon as you put it in your mouth. It tastes like a smoky flavor. A smoky, yeah. It was like if you cooked I some do barbecue feel the and rim. Some, of the, some of the smoke got on. Yeah, on the hot dog or something. No? Okay. These are the ones with more flavor. I'm just tasting like a barbecue, all these chip now. Kind of. Yeah, just regular barbecue. Maybe you're supposed to eat them together. <laughs> the smoky, the smoky oh, and barbecue. So what, oh, um, it, just, it doesn't say and. No. Okay. Well. It just tastes like a regular barbecue chip. Do you like them? It's okay. Like a mesquite. Yeah, I like a mesquite. Like if you had the mesquite barbecue chips, that's what they taste like. Okay. We got popcorn, hot cheese popcorn from hers. My favorite hot cheese popcorn is Jay's. Like I Chicago. forgot the one that we do. I'm not sure the brand. I think it's Jay's. The Did brand I already is do in this? Chicago. Huh? No. Okay. This one. You want to me on? No. Yeah. Nope. I'm telling you, these are the nastiest one. They're like stale tasting. <laughs> It says June 12th. Mm -mm. Still I still eat these. I will not waste them. I don't even taste any hot. It's not even hot. It, the taste is stale. That's the taste. Yeah. And people I said agree, hot is not a, a, a flavor or it tasted hot. You know, the sensation was hot. Please stop being technical. You know what the heck I mean. Okay, we're going to go with, oh, we got one more. Hers, uh, creamy dill pickle. I didn't know pickles were creamy. I guess they get happy. Happy dill pickles. <laughs> okay. Did you show it to them? Oh, let me show you my creamy dill pickle. My creamy chode pickle. Okay. They're not big pickles. Let me let me cleanse my palate. You want some water? I'm good. Grab a pickle. I don't want to. <laughs> Go ahead and taste it. I don't know what the heck that sensation was. It but it tastes pretty good at the end there. I mean, it's uh, it takes a minute. That, it's you not put, a very strong. Since like you put the pickle in your mouth, it's like it's weird. You had Lay's dill pickle chips these are not as strong as but those i guess it's good if you're eating a lot of them they're not as strong and they get too overpowering these are actually almost one of the best ones i've tasted so far which one so far did you like um probably either the jalapeno, jalapeno poppers, poppers or either the buffalo ones okay well she only like buffalo so guys if you don't like buffalo, that'll be a good one to try. Um, we got all I don't like blue cheese. We got all voodoo chips and dirty now. Let's go with voodoo. But those deal chips were pretty good. It's kind of like a. I ain't gonna say sweet. I don't know. This one here is kettle, kettle style, and it says hotter in hot, like hotter than hot jalapeno. So that means it's hotter than a jalapeno. So most people that do this, like at the flaming Hot stuff from um, Taco Bell, that last one was actually pretty hot. But they usually, oh, it's not that hot, you know. But this, uh, let me open it up here. I hope it don't be fire red when you open up the bag. Huh? I said I hope it don't be fire red when you open up the bag. Oh. It's not red? Mm -mm. You want to try You got to show it to them, though. Or did you already do I show it? I showed the back. Look at you making a mess. Oh, let me grab it. No chip left behind. I wouldn't do this for a food challenge because it's real, really hard. Got kind of hard because kettle. It's spicy though, isn't it? Yeah, it's slowly getting hotter and hotter. It creeps up on you. 
It's not I like unbearable. It. I don't know. But I wouldn't call it hotter than hot. I would not call it, like I said, hotter than hot. I would call them jalapeno, okay? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't lie just to get people to buy the bag. You wouldn't eat anything to drink to eat them. No, nothing. Okay, one more, no. No, I don't like you. Okay. <coughs> For her. It's okay. I like it. I just don't like being lied to. I don't know. The, the kettle one, that one just didn't have a lot of flavor. Voodoo. I've heard a lot about this one. Somebody just commented on that. Voodoo. I told us to try the voodoo chip. Yeah. Try that out. And I do need to get the, uh, we're going to do some, uh, some question and answers at the end of this. I should have said that beginning on the question and answer. Uh, Why are you going to do it now? Why are we eating? Oh, well, I'm, I'm reviewing the chips. We can do that and answer. I can't do two things at once. Okay. So the people that just want to see the review and don't want to watch watch the question and answer, you know, screw you. No, I'm just joking, kind of. Not. But then the people that want to watch the whole thing, they can watch the whole thing. Try the chip. You're doing too much. You just said you can't do it. I can, things. so I don't know what I'm doing. Well, leave that alone until we finish. Okay. okay. We got some burnt ones here. Is it supposed to be burnt? Voodoo burnt? I hope you see that. I'm confused on what this is supposed to be. Well, let me, let, let, me you, let you know. It's like a season, but then it gets sweet. Oh. It reminds me of St. Louis Red Hot Ripplets without the hot. That's what it reminds me of. And cooked kettle style. And not and Red Hot Ripplets are not uh, sweet. This tastes like so it tastes nothing like red hot ribbons. It tastes like pickles and vinegar and sweet and collage. Like just all the flavors mixed together. I, I like them. This tastes like maybe they just threw all the like how you mix up the drinks, the suicide mix. Up like lime or lemon or something. That's what. I, that's why I said I was like. Did you say that? No, I said it tastes like vinegar or something. Well, she said. Do you just say that's what you said? That's what you thought? No, I said it's it's like <laughs> seasoning like vinegar and dill okay. and then it gets sweet. So I think these might be my favorite ones so far. Cause it's, it's different. But like I was saying it tastes like how when you go into the restaurant it's seasoned you really good. It's your own drink, but you just get all of them. Call it suicide because you guys let me know what that was called a suicide with all different. So that's a suicide chip. But actually, that has a lot of seasoning. So if you like a lot of seasoning on your chip, that's seasoned the best, like the most. Yeah, this has the most flavor out of all of them. Oh, really good. Okay. Well, you can have it. I'm, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I did not get paid either for this, but I'm going to let you guys know. This is where we went to get this stuff, except the uh, the... Chips I'll do last of the Lakers uh, of that uh, jalapeno lime. So it has to be Mexican if lime's in it. That bag not in there. It shouldn't be. Okay. Now we go with dirty, dirty jalapeno heat. Dirty heat. Dirty jalapeno heat. It looks like kettle corn. Kettle corn. Kettle, you know what the hell? Kettle, kettle chip. <laughs> almost made me curse at you, not curse. Uh, yeah. Didn't know how to curse at you. Which one to use? The kettle chips don't give off any kind of scent. They like it hold smell the, like grease. They don't like hold the flavor really. Yeah, that's why I was like, it don't. It did on that voodoo though. It just smell like grease, greasy chips. This isn't even jalapeno. No. I taste the heat. But stuff is not hot to you, so you ain't gonna. I don't think you would. I feel the heat. Well, you if you feel the heat, I don't. Uh, Buffalo blue. There must be blue cheese. Oh, okay. Move it along. Oh, <laughs> go ahead. I, I thought we were done with this. There's nothing to talk about. There's you, nothing to tell my mom about. You was done with it. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. My bad. I feel real. I look real stupid now since you brought it's it up. It's raining on me. So, what, um, what do you want to talk about? Stop! I'm rolling it up. She just saw me. It mixed, was a mixed messages. Mixed messages. You saw that spider on the door. That's why you kept well, rolling that button. No, I didn't. It was a spider right there. There's no spiders in this chip, so. 
So that's that's, that's, no that's advertising. No spiders. Now the heat is. Yeah. Not some verbal? No, it's getting hot. Like I couldn't eat a whole. So it's an afterburn. Yeah. So well, let's call that Top Gun. I couldn't eat a whole bag of these without having something to drink. Hope this sound is not. I hope this sound doesn't put you to sleep. The round drop. ASMR raindrop. mukbang. Yep. There you go. These chips are a little more, look a little more seasoned though. The kettle. I need something to drink. It's called Buffalo Blue. That's people don't. If you like spicy, that's not that hot. But it creeps up on you. You think? You can't tell me what's hot because you eat Satan toes and peanuts and stuff. <laughs> Sorry, snatch it. I sure did. I would What's say this? something, but your mom watches this channel. You can say it. That's what your mom got for snatching. <laughs> Look what your mom got for snatching. Sorry, sorry. My mouth's still hot. I was gonna say Miss last name, but I might gonna do that. Sorry, Jewel. I can say that, Miss Jewel. What are you thinking? I'm not a fan of dirties. A little dirty? They say that when I used to run the streets in this uh, smaller town, Crystal City, Missouri. Little dirty champ, flavor in your ear, little dirty champ. Okay, so what? Uh, I, maybe I'm not a fan of, I don't know, because none of the dirtiest kettle chips that we've tried so far, are good. they always flavor? smell like, they just smell like grease. And it's not really any flavor. That's the one I just. No, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> that one was hot. Oh, my onion. I'm going to do that last. Mesquite barbecue. Oh, they are. They are that seasoned one. up. Yeah, that looks better. These have a scent to them, like spices, finally. They are kettle. They are kettle cooked. They're crunchy. They got flavor though. Out of all the mesquites, that has the most flavor. Out of all the mesquites. You know what the heck I'm talking about. That's why I got her here with me. All, all the dirties. The dirty. okay. All the dirties, little dirty. <laughs> all the dirties. This is the most flavorful, right? But that doesn't say much because that's, it has flavor, but it's not a lot. You can just taste this more than you can the other one. I think the other bar, the hickory barbecue that didn't look like a lot on there still tasted kind of like this. I do like these though, but. If you want some chips with a henna flavor, not dirty. Yeah, a little dirty. Um, Funky Fusion. Funky Fusion, guys. This is gluten free. Are all these gluten free? Oh, uh, that's why they taste funny. Gluten free, folks. Don't give me stuff with gluten in it or diet cokes or diet sodas. I'm, I'm allergic to it. Okay, let's go with Funky Fusion. I should let her pick first, right? This is one of those. Just like it's the voodoo. Like yeah. Yeah, I think voodoo actually they stole the recipe or something. You don't even know who came first. One or the other, okay. These are a hint. These are crunchy voodoos. Yeah. But, but with a little less that, flavor. Yeah, the voodoos have flavor. more flavor, so if you want to notch down and gluten free, then get a little dirty. Get the dirty. Dirty. Okay. My onion. This one sounds good. It's gluten free though. Okay. Hold on. Okay. But you be a, a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. Let me be a man. No, I'm a man. I'm going to give you it first. I'm, uh, Thank you. Okay, snatching. <laughs> what it smell like? These smell like 
They have a scent. The other yeah, I put my have... nose all in the bag, guys. They smell like a hint of onions. Yeah, okay. Put in my pocket. Okay. Kind of weird, ain't it? It tastes like it's almost like the beginning stages of making a funyun. Yeah. Like a test phase. It's like you're waiting for it. And I these think. tips will hurt your mouth. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do a challenge. <laughs> um. If you missing a lot of your teeth, you better let them soak. Where's the Mai at? Maui. The the Mai. Is it Maui or Maui? Maui. 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 What's that? Cheese and Chong? Something you made. Now we want no cheese and Chong. Oh, you talking about no yeah. products? Yeah, falling around the um. Maui Wowie is a strain. Yeah, they're falling around the um the dog. Remember that? Maui Wowie, man. Yeah, but it's got some Labrador in it. Yeah. So these are okay. Well, the strain is not there. My opinion is that the dirty chips, they don't they put just, a lot of flavor on it. They just dust them. They dust them. The best one I liked was the uh, Funky Fusion. Um, and it just didn't have a lot of um, a lot of flavor on the rest of them, a lot of seasoning. But that one had the most seasoning. Um, it's crunchy as hell, though. Heck. Yeah, they will hurt. Ooh, cut, cut, cut. Those, it's crunchy as heck, though. Those will hurt your mouth. Last one. This one has to be good because they put a Lakers, a Lakers guy on here. This is Anthony Davis. Um, is he Mexican? Because he he's on the lime in jalapeno. This makes it Mexican, or it's not even Mexican. Hispanic, Spanish. I thought Anthony Davis was black. I think it looks. He looks brown, but there's some dark brown. Hispanic, Spanish, know. Mexicans. My cousin used to make fun of Terrence because they said Terrence looked like Anthony Davis. Well, here you go. I'll get one because she's all day over here. She wants to inspect, a, inspect sorry, her gadget, the freaking bag. Since you're trying to go all fast. And... Whoa. Smell like jalapenos. Well, they better they they endorse it like that. They're like weeds, like not weed, but weeds. Like what right when you eat on it? Like you just like grass. Grass, yeah. Wow, this probably tanked. I I taste the lime, limey grass. It tastes. It's weird. Yeah, really weird. Anthony, your career is over, I think. Is it, is it like um, blue blockers or when people do stuff that they need tax money, that they put something out? This is one of the brands. This is like lime, lime grass. It's weird. Spanish cows eat this stuff. Is that a Spanish cow? I'm gonna spit it out. Well, yeah, I need to. I need to wash that out. Go away. Okay. I would never buy those. Those are nasty. I, I should take those back to Walmart. Do I have a receipt? I can say these are nasty, can't you? Like, do you sell them this? I like that smell after the rain. Yeah, she's all off topic here. <laughs> but that's what I do. Like, that's what I do. So she's learning. Okay, anybody? Let me see. Live schedule tonight. Going live. Thanks, Sarah. Um, there's another question and answer here somewhere. Hopefully. Oh, this hot time again. We got 13 questions. Better? Okay, we're starting with Nicola Jacobs. 
What part is Milkman going to play in the future, and will you make Milkman a girlfriend, like, for example, Sugar Ice Tea or another milk mask, or something so then it makes Milkman the mask interested too? Oh, so I'm, like, attracted? He going to have to play all of them parts, because Tasha not She can be the Sugar Honey Ice Tea. A mask. Okay. Milk. Nothing. Well... Sorry about that, Nicola. Um, might not happen there. Uh, Mr. Miss Chomp asked this in a video, um, and I told I, I told Mr. Miss Chomp to uh, ask it in here. And looky here, just wondering where Tasha got her passion for fishing. Definitely know how to fish. And yes, the milkman mask. Why don't you like it? So let's start. Let's not frown. Let's not frown. Let's not down. I'm not frowning. So you leave me alone. <laughs> Fix that lip. Uh, just wondering. Um, passion okay. for fishing. My granddad um, used to own a lot of land, and it was in Mississippi. Um, I would go with him to go and pick purple hull peas and other little country stuff like that, and I would go. He showed me how to fish, and my dad used to take me to. Um, either Sardis or one of the other. Is that Mississippi? Yeah, in Mississippi. Uh, it was either Sardis Dam to fish or one of the other um, lakes back in Mississippi. And I don't know. I just like doing outdoor stuff. Like my great granddad used to have um, land, and they would be out there like slaughtering animals and can I say that on here? Yeah, I'm just gonna show it I guess. Oh well they would, do it right now. they would do like farm like stuff back in the day like do the chickens and slaughtering hogs and, and stuff like that. So I guess I got it from my dad's side of the family because it's more country. Like my mom's side has people from Mississippi and did stuff like that but I didn't grow up around them doing that. So I got it from my dad's side of the family. Okay. Well, what about the milkman mask? Why don't you like it? Yeah, actually, it's still outside, I think, over there, unless you threw it away. You left it outside when we did the the, the pinata. Yeah, bad. So why don't you like it? I don't know. It's just like. Creepy? I, huh? Creepy? Like saw, like saw, cartoon saw. I don't like it. I don't not like it to to the point where I tell him I don't. You gonna leave me? Yeah, that I don't want you to ever do it or whatever. I know you guys like it. I don't know. She's a trooper. Maybe more so it's just annoying. Maybe that's the word. Like I me, would use. I'm annoying. Like me, it's <laughs> two like times that, annoying. Robot, he does a lot of stuff that he knows bothers me because he tries to annoy me on purpose sometimes. Well, on her, when she starts your channel, hey, Ashi, one word, H E Y O S H I. So, hey, Ashi is one word, H E Y O S H I, space bar 13. I told her on her, her stage, on her channel, she could just do stuff to annoy me and get it on tape, and bam, I could be a vlog. Okay, you got my permission. So, it's locked in, it's on contract, it's right here. Okay, Tasha, what do you enjoy doing at work and what made you want to work there? Did you got to pay bills or anything? <laughs> yeah, I needed money. No, um, I don't know. FedEx is just. Okay, we're on another phone, guys. The GoPro overheated, so GoPro needs to fix this. 30 minutes, um, this thing's already burning up hot and it shut off on me, so the audio is going to be a little different. Uh, we were on the question. Uh, Tasha, what do you enjoy doing at work and what made you want to work there? Um, I was saying that me and um, Jade, somebody that came to one of his, his challenges yesterday, we were just talking about FedEx and how like FedEx is a big company in Memphis and you would get, I would say more than half of the city if you did a poll, has worked at FedEx at some point in in their life. Um, I started out as FedEx is like 
having a job in between like when I was out of school like for the summer or whatever so I would work there in the summer times and then quit and go back to school then once I got out of school again I would go back FedEx is pretty good as far as rehiring if you leave the right way um so it kind of started as I needed money in the summer times when I was in between in between school and it's a cool company to work for and you can move up and um it's opportunities to make a lot of money so that's how I um started out at, at FedEx um I went from from the bottom to the top <laughs> I went from I started at like FedEx ground <laughs> I was loading trucks then I went to FedEx Express and I was like unloading planes and driving around in the tugs and stuff. I was in a, in a thing called um, offloading and that's when we would be there when the planes land and we would get in the planes and pull the stuff out or whatever and went from that to where I'm at now which is like the brokerage part of FedEx. Um, and you just deal with international shipments um, coming in and out of the country. Express is more as, Express is a domestic, Express and Ground is domestic. And the one I work for now is the international part. Um, and it, like I said, deals with working, clearing stuff through customs. And it's a pretty fun job. It's I like it better than what I was doing at first because at first I was outside in the elements, but now I, um, I'm inside of the office at a desk. But it came out of a necessity for money. Well, it started out that way. Speaking of money, they're doing the stimulus checks, uh, the $1,200 stimulus checks. People don't know if you read the fine print in their check. If you cash that check, you don't need to vote this year because you already voted for uh, Donald Trump. You didn't read that? You didn't either. I need the twelve hundred dollars. That's how you didn't know none of that. You don't got to vote. One plus thing, you don't got to go vote. It is not true. <laughs> no, it's not true, folks. Um, I told my buddy uh, Maurice that you saw. I told him I was going to do that. But I said I was going to go around and do a poll for everybody, like people I don't know, and just start doing that. So I'm targeting. I'm targeting brown folks and Mexicans because. I'm pretty sure a lot, of, a lot of people do not like Donald Trump. So I was going to say, hey, if you catch that check, you know you already voted and see what they say. So, sorry, folks. Yes, I'm a targeter. No, I'm just a push a button there. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I, I just like reactions, folks. So my bad advantage. I'm only racist when it comes to ice cream. I like vanilla ice cream. Somebody said that was racist, too. Okay, we got to go back. That was uh, Nicola Jacobs. Thank you. Uh, what's uh, Nicola Jacobs asked as well. What's the most funniest reaction you two have made to watching The Walking Dead and being on the boat together? I'm not really sure how to answer. Is it? You do so much crazy stuff. Yeah, there's not really a reaction about anything. Um, yeah, that's a kind of hard one to, to, to do because I'm always doing crazy stuff anyway. So that's not, I, we probably just have to pass that one up. It's not really, oh, got cr oh yeah, because it's my car. If it was in her car, she was like, eh, let's leave that on him. Now it's all over my, my, my ride, my whip. It was going to be all over the A little dirty, a little dirty. <laughs> okay. Um, Christopher Peterson, if you like cheap noodles like me, for uh, you prefer a cup of noodles or just regular Raymond packs? I like the Raymond packs because the cups are more expensive. You know that? Cups are like a dollar thirty something. You can get them for like ten cents for a Raymond pack. Just for the expensive people that want to take it to work and not bring it to Tupperware. And what I do is put two packs uh, of uh Raymond noodles in a bowl and fill it with water and I drink the water too. People are like, Ew, it's nasty. Like uh it's just like noodle soup. You drink in the broth too. So I actually uh had two two noodles Every day for lunch, my whole locker had a picture. I don't know if I have it, still have it on my computer. I have a picture of my locker at Walmart with all the whole thing was packed full of noodles. The whole the whole locker you couldn't get nothing in there but noodles. It was a whole like forty noodles. But well, and people used to stare at me in the break room. 
So I would put eyeballs balls on the end, on the bottom side of my Tupperware. I drew eyeballs because everybody would stare at me in the break room while we're eating. So I do this once I drink like this, my eyeballs are staring at them. So I thought that was funny. Um, he did say, I like the spicy cup of noodles. I put red crushed peppers and cut up a uh, hot sausage. I prefer a convenience store, mainly the Tijuana Mamas. Uh, they're extra hot. Well, I actually did a serrano pepper I got because I worked in produce too. So I, I bought a five cent like serrano pepper and cut it in half and put it in there. Um, that's the only serrano pepper type thing I want in my in, in foods, really. I don't like serrano, serrano peppers, but I did it. I did it um, in that. Um, if I'm at home, I do. I cut up onions, bell peppers, and put some like sausage or hamburger meat in there and make it fancy. Um, how do you like yours? I like the packs, but Jazz recently gave me a um a cup of noodles and it was the seafood cup of noodles and that's my favorite noodle. Oh, so, so now you went swanky. Jazz but, did. She brought it to me. Okay, I her, ate it the other so night. So it's her fault you're gonna be spending money and we're gonna seafood, be broke living on the street. I don't know I I don't know if I well, the seafood cup of noodles. I like it was free. I don't know how much a couple of noodles cost, but oh, I free. Okay, him. well, she's gonna yeah, get free I for the rest. Thank I you, Jazz, for giving her free as, noodles the rest of her life. <laughs> as far as price price point, like <clears throat> the cup of noodles are more expensive. You can buy one cup of noodle, or you can buy a whole pack yeah. of the other ones for the same price. But my favorite flavor so far would have to be now the cup of noodle seafood because i think on the on the cup somewhere it said japan's number one rated i guess that was like their top seller the one that she brought me that's the good advertising one. they probably don't even eat it they, eat they probably don't even eat that they, eat they got noodles. they got certain ones that like oh that's the usa noodles that's not even real noodles they just no, that, I was just yeah, saying, they, I don't know. I don't think I took a picture in there where you can look it up. But yeah, you can look it up. It might say noodle. number one Japan on there, but they probably don't even eat that. They just did it for sale. They sold it. Your brain says this is good I don't know. already. I don't think before. In English, but I understand. I'm just messing with you. I know. Okay. Kinda. That's why I'm not even. Okay, let's get to the next one. Thank you, Christopher P. Peterson. Um, Joanne Lightfoot. That sounds like an Indian name. Like running swift hornet. A buffalo. My bad. I said hornet because of the Asian hornet thing. We were just talking about Japan. Boo. Okay. Joanne Lightfoot. Is there wedding bells in the future for y'all? Um, I've talked about this a lot. If I get a million subscribers, then it's like it's already going to happen. It's, she don't even have to say yes. It's like an already binded contract. So I need a million subscribers. Or if she asks me. Because last time I tried to get her a ring that wasn't even a promise ring. Just a regular ring. She wanted a camo outfit from the pawn shop. So for, for for Valentine's Day, she got a camo outfit. Did I answer it for you? She don't want to talk about it. See how she is? She's that type of person. She didn't even tell me she's wearing this shirt today. I got one just like it from the pizza place we did in Kenny's East Coast Pizza. I could have we could have been twinning. You've been looking at me all day. Been twinning. But look at your face. But I see it now because I'm looking at it down there. He's so pretty. Oh, la, la. Okay. See how good he Jen Powell. Hey, guys. Tasha, how long did it take for you to be okay with being in his videos? By the way, love y'all. He pressured me into being in videos. No, I said, hey, <laughs> I'm doing a, I'm doing a snack no. thing. You don't have to do it. And she just jumped in and then she took over, kind of. She's like, yeah, yeah, woo. Did that happen? No. It was the the Himalayan or something. What, what was that? There was a candy or something. With the the there was like the the first video seafood I was, uh, the little I was fish in where the camera was actually pointed at me and I was a part of the video was that piece of video. The Rizzies? Yeah. Oh okay. I didn't tell you had to be in it, did I? Oh, I think you was a team. I said I would cut you out. She goes, "Don't worry about it." I think you said, "Don't worry about it." Something like that. Is that what happened? Yeah, but you didn't want to put the video out for some reason. Oh, I wasn't going to because you didn't want to. But 
But anyway, it was sometimes where I would be like, this his channel. I don't have to be in it. But he always wanted me to be in it. So it's my fault. That, so I didn't pressure you then. Thanks. The truth came out. Okay, next question. Thank you, Jen Powell. I appreciate it. Uh, Laura Baker. Uh, she's another one that comments a lot, just like Nicola Jacobs. So please read the comments. Um, They're really, really uh, very well um, dissective of the whole video. So, hey, Brandon and Tasha. Brandon, I think you are an incredible person who encourages his lady every day to be her best and give her ideas of videos she could do on YouTube. Um, Tasha, I can't wait for your videos. I know you'll do very well with Brandon's help editing. I know I'll, it'll be epic. Love you guys. Yeah. I'm not going to really edit like my style. I want to learn how to, I haven't learned yet, but I have a way that I want to do my videos. So he's going to help as far as editing, like showing me how to make it just cut it and everything cut, do this and and that stuff because i have no idea how to do how to even upload it to well i know how to upload stuff onto yeah just not without unedited yeah, like unedited, putting the titles up and everything to, yeah i don't know how to do <clears throat> switch any, the screens like when the that. when the piece is together um People want to do my videos. Is hey, you're busy. You, I can do your videos for you. I don't want anybody to do my videos because it's my style, and that's why you watch my videos. So if somebody else did it to try to be like me, I don't think it would be the same. So on her videos, I'm not going to throw in all kind of crazy stuff and fake laughters and cheesy. It's going to be her style. I might be in the video and be cheesy and do all that, <laughs> but she's not going to probably not edit the way I do, and she's probably not going to say that's what he said or stuff like that. Yeah, because I've been looking at like cameras and in different different things or whatnot. Just scuba divers in the future maybe and then there's a special scuba diving camera. I uh, mean they do it with the GoPro I think. Well if you go but, down more than but 30 they just feet. Have, like, the, I mean they put the case on them. Their little clear oh, okay. case. It won't be the other stuff like what you have. But um only difference is like they got the goggles with the like the attachments that you got to put on the on no. the goggles or whatever but um yeah i have a lot of ideas i just have to get the equipment that i need for my ideas and learn how to edit yep so when she gets a thousand subscribers you'll be at least seeing a live video on the boat and then we're going to get to editing well she'll get to edit on her video soon uh she does have some already on my computer saved in the file uh, but we're going to get to that point um pretty soon uh, best, best probably might be cooking videos and stuff. Once we get a place that we can cook and do vi videos like that, uh, we can get a lot of videos up. Well, so thank you, Laura Baker. I appreciate it. Thanks for the comments. And also, Nicola, thanks for your comments as well. Please, please, please people, read their comments as well as watch the video because you can really get a lot of detail into their uh, comments as well. Lastly, Nicola Jacobs. Brandon, when you go to a challenge and it's way bigger than what you imagine, what's the first thing you think or do in a situation like that? Well, the first thing I think is I got ripped off or that somebody's trying to cheat me. Uh, but a lot of times they don't even weigh it up and they don't know. They just say about whatever and they're not used to doing it all the time. Uh, so it's nothing that you can do about it. Um, I try If it's way crazy bigger than what it's supposed to be, I try to just say, hey, this is not the size of the video. I mean, the size of the... Uh, challenge but I'm glad um, we're about done here because it's got to rain really hard so um, but I do thank you guys um, I am going to post another question and answer so please keep these questions coming uh, I'll do it on the next review um, Tasha as well so we really appreciate uh, interacting with you guys doing this so uh, go ahead and um, look in the community news if you're looking at community news every day every other day to check um, I'll have a new question and answer up. I'm deleting the question and answer from this time so you don't uh, answer, uh, you don't ask questions in this one. Uh, I want a new one. So I'm going to put a new one up for you guys to answer or to ask more questions. So, got to go. It's getting loud in here. Tornado's coming. Hold on. Okay. Uh, cell phone shut off. That ain't work. Okay. See you later.
Hey guys, I have hoodies in. The name brand are independent, so you know they are thick and high quality. I'm having have them all the way from small to 3X, uh, only in black right now, so just go ahead and look in descriptions for that. Uh, I do have uh, t-shirts as well. The name brand of the t-shirts are canvas. Uh, they are thick, they are soft, the logo wipes off like a bib, just like on the hoodie. So if you want those, please check in descriptions. Uh, they all are pre-washed material, so they won't shrink on you. So check in descriptions for the price and the uh, shipping and handling of that, because I do ship in U.S. and in Canada. If you haven't already, um, hit follow on The Garbage Disposal on Facebook and follow me there to get more pictures and stuff. Uh, please subscribe to my page. Hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming videos. And hit the like button if you like it. Other than that, please share it with your friends, family, and even your boss. Have a great day, unless you made other plans.